So why is this important? Uh, and you know, I, all joking aside, uh, we got a lot of feedback uh, from the international community, both from uh, India and Europe, uh, along with the members in the room here and the folks that contributed directly to the topic. And um, uh, it's, it, I think what's most obvious about the discussion is that this is, uh, like many of the metrics that Green Grid is struggling with today, this is not an easy uh, topic. This is not something that we were gonna solve in one day's session. Uh, and I think we knew that even before going into it, which is one of the reasons why this became more of an online session than a working session where we would come up with a solution at the end of the day. This will really be the effective uh, you know, uh, um, analogy would be open source project for developing certification for the data center. So ideally, we put this online, we continue to get feedback from, from a combination of industry and DCP members in order to develop a, 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 at least a framework. Now, whether it's something that uh, data center Pulse uh, owns and manages, or whether it's something that we help push to get another organization is immaterial. What it is really is how do we fill the gap that we have today? And we don't have a single place to go, right? So we've talked about that a little bit in, in varying ways, but we just don't have that single place to go. We can't just go and, and uh, get our validation that we're doing what we should be doing in the data center. So short-term and long-term opportunities. Engage the government, right? So uh, Bill actually, Bill Schutte, for those of you who don't know him, uh, works for LBNL. He and I had a couple of long talks during this session, and um, he's very enthusiastic about the opportunity of us talking to the EPA and uh, DOE and help influence the direction that they're taking today and seeing whether or not we can add another track to that. And we'd like to do that, obviously, in, uh, around the world. Um, continue to gather suggestions from the DCP membership. Uh, evaluate available standards, so uh, if we were to pick and choose um, like a bunch of Lego pieces, you know, what would we take uh, and what picture would, could we or would we create out of it uh, and then identify the gaps that still remain. And then begin the collection of SLA criteria. So I don't know how many of you have ever had to worry about creating SLAs, but I can tell you they always seem a lot simpler before you actually start doing them. Uh, and so doing them for a data center generically is not gonna be an easy task. Uh, every, everybody has a different definition of what they need, why they need it, and then you marry that to the industry you're in, to the number of people you have, to how much money you make, and SLAs become a very um, interesting topic, to say the least. Longer term, uh, influence the design of the DOE certification program, uh, and potentially uh, work with the Energy Star Group. Um, develop a staying current framework, right? So how can, how can DCP, using the power of its community already, uh, how can we help uh, get the message out to the IT and facilities community at large to help them get past the assumptions or the lack of knowledge that uh, uh, many of us have today about what's available so that we can move forward more quickly with the technologies and solutions that are available. And then uh, I got feedback from several people that are out of the education uh, uh, environment about programs that certain colleges and universities offer around data center certification for people specifically. So what can we take from that? How can that be blended in with what we already do or what we could be doing in order to help create that package more quickly? So market opportunity. Um, this was a hard one. Uh, you know, I wasn't sure what it is that uh, I could tell somebody they could make that might make them money to do this. But uh, real is it, real, realistically, I think the most obvious opportunity is in the tools section, right? So there's been a, I don't wanna mention uh, any vendor names right now, but there are, have been a few tools recently uh, that dramatically improve your ability to keep an eye on what's going on, on the, in the data center from a facility standpoint, as far as watching your power and where it's being used and how it's being used, et cetera. Uh, and, and some companies are actually looking to partner from the facility side, they're looking to partner with the companies that have traditionally offered management systems from IT oriented, uh, from the IT oriented side of the house. Uh, and I need, we need to see more of that, right? There needs to be a tool that brings those together and offers a, a complete package. Um, you know, realistically, this will help us self-regulate ourselves. The better we can keep an eye on the data center, uh, the more likely we'll be able to say that we're running an efficient operation and we'll be able to present that and manage to it. Conclusions. Uh, so the lack of certification framework for data centers it, you know, it limits our abilities to baseline, it limits our ability to say what we're doing and how we're doing it, how effectively we're doing it, um, and it makes for those really uncomfortable pauses when the CFO says, how much money are you spending and how are you spending? Uh, you know, how do you rank against your peers? 
Uh, and I've had those conversations, and uh, sometimes I've been on the good side of those conversations, and sometimes I've been on the bad side. Um, but uh, realistically, there is no good side, because if the CFO doesn't get the information that he or she wants, then it's all bad, regardless. And today, for most of us, it's extremely difficult to pull that information together. So again, you know, just want to reiterate as kind of a final bullet relative to the conclusions that uh, we, I would optimistically hope that we use this as a driver for getting people to adopt many of the technologies that are available today. Uh, if you look at the, um, the energy utilization of the data centers across the country, uh, even just implementing what we have sitting in front of us on the table available today in our data centers um, can, could mean a dramatic improvement in overall energy usage. Future state, of course I wrote DCP on there for lack of a better name, but uh, again, we don't really care whether it's certified by DCP or some other body, we just feel it's a need. Next steps, as we talked about a little bit earlier, obtain additional DCP uh, community input, engage the uh, government bodies that uh, are working on similar activities or may be interested in this activity in particular, um, look for Asian and European partners, uh, identify and engage other potential partners both in the industry and um, at, uh, in customer companies at large, and uh, determine the area of opportunity of certification in the data center. So is, uh, you know, there's potentially many layers. Is it purely on the physical layer? Is it on the knowledge layer? Is it both? Is it the people, the building? Is it on the IT side or the facility side? Is it a combination? Uh, so there's lots of opportunity for discussion and scoping there, but um, I'm optimistic. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.